these tags, you could actually um, put them into mm. that album that Lou suggested. Mm. So they'd all work, they'd all mm. match. You well, could mix them all up. colour coordinated so that yeah. you can actually make them work. You could make pockets. A great idea. Love these little tags. I mean, even if it's just for birthday tags, not just for your journals, card making, mm. pop them onto your cards as well. Uh, mixed media projects will look great on there as well. But we're not stopping there, are we? No. no, there's more. There's more. We've got your die cut pieces. Now, these are already cut out and you've got over a hundred pieces. These are brilliant, Lou. You've got some sides are glittered, some sides um, don't have any glitter. You've got foiling in there. That one, actually, you can pop the center out yeah, so you I have a frame Ooh, there it goes. and a separate topper <laughs> <laughs> um, you I mean you've got some beautiful phrases in there I mean 126 elements uh, there's a huge amount you've got some lovely butterflies huge big butterflies in there these, as well these really are um, lovely but on the reverse of a lot of these elements if you didn't want the glittery side or the foiled side you've got a plain side yeah. so you can add your own personality I think to the fabulous. designs. Do you know what they remind me of? What first comes to mind? Like a vintage circus style mm. travelling fair. Yeah. Um, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it's about. It's the colours. Yeah, it's got quite a kitsch colour scheme yes. to it, hasn't it? Yeah, sort of. it really has. My goodness, there's so many different pieces here and different sizes as well. This is a great crafting kit. 999 618531 is your item number if you want to go for that one. Absolutely marvellous. Love the colours, love the vibe mm. to it, that lovely kitsch vintage vibe. And what a fantastic idea using that pad as an instant journal. How amazing. Uh, right, now to embellish our cards and to embellish um, our decor or our boxes, uh, We've got something fantastic for you. This is your embellishment pack with organza ribbon. Yeah, now these are interesting, aren't they, Lou? These are beautiful. I love the freestyle with them, and I love the colour choices that we've got here. Um, and they're 3D, they're self adhesive. So you've got a mixture of the card stickers, which are 3D, and then you've got the mixture of like the, the epoxy stickers as well yeah with but aren't the birds oh, as soon as oh. i saw those and i knew i was on with oh, you i just went Lord. oh they're very janice they like the birds i draw how yeah. amazing great minds think alike um, and then you've got um sentiments yes. that all color coordinate as well so you've got instant toppers they are amazing straight away and then coordinating ribbons Sorry, I just I'm just looking at all those <laughs> different designs of the birds. Yes, you've got your ribbons in here as well. You've got your sentiments, uh, and you've got those gems. This is a superb deal, nine ninety nine mm. for all of that. Can't believe it. Amazing deal. Again, it's like a little crafting project right there that's going to extend your current crafting even further. Two three nine four three five is your item number. What a lovely, delightful collection with your butterflies, your floral design, that organza ribbon in there, and your jewels as well. You can take something and still make it uh, vintage mm. you could make it whimsical you could also have it like a quite a bit of bling on there if you want to yeah I mean if you um, die cut or punched out bright colored circles and then put those elements on yeah. you've got something quite retro certainly have because it would have. have taken a different vibe so you can go vintage or you could go quite retro yeah with all that. of it I mean put the stickers onto something like vellum and it changes the way they look again. Mm, Bellum, love that. <laughs> uh, right, so 239435 is your item number for that kit. Oh my word, that is absolutely spectacular. Uh, right, moving on, we have got some chalk paint for you. Always popular, and they were very, very busy this morning. We're thinking about upcycling at the moment. We're looking at our furniture, and we're thinking, I need to buy some more. But you know what? We don't have the money, so what do we do? We paint our furniture, and it's becoming even more popular than ever before. Some people are taking their old furniture, and they're painting it up, and they're selling it for a fortune i've seen it online it's amazing so maybe this is something you can do for your home or paint and decorate decorate why did i say it like that paint and decorate <laughs> why did i say it like that i'm decorate i think i was good i think i was thinking as well i say don't really know oh seriously <laughs> I, you know sometimes i wonder how i got this job uh, right with you with your folk art chalk uh, paint it's ultra matte as well so what do we mean by ultra matte it, it'll oh well matte means sort of thing it's a flat color yes so ultra matte means it's a really lovely flat um surface to work on so you can either keep it like that or you can then keep adding to it yeah. so it can be either a base layer yep. and then you can add all your um, gels and mediums on top yep. or you you can keep it that 
it gives a lovely soft smooth yeah. finish to it and I think sometimes when you're painting if you're new to it seeing brush marks and things like that mm. when it's matte it, they don't seem to notice them quite yeah. as much it's a good coverage mm. isn't it it really is in the set here number one you get the Prism grey you get the white and you also get the rich black as well that is a fantastic set but I like set number is it three did we sell out set number two? Ah, so you've got Java and your cobblestone and then Vivarian. 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 Catherine and I were thinking of a certain cake that has a Vivarian custard layer cake. in it. Yeah, look at that. Just turn that underneath. You probably get a better look um, at the colour there. Oh, and you know, oh yeah, look at that. It'd be like custard. <laughs> I'd be like the cake and custard. Oh, so want some now. <laughs> uh, right, 461. 687 is your item number. You choose from set number one or set number three. If you want to go for both, I think this is an ideal opportunity, actually. If you look at the price, you're saving £15.81. I think it would be a great, great idea to go for both sets. And both sets will be less than the price of what one should be. That will be just under £26. Ooh. What's the date today? 23rd. Are we still in the... No. We're still in the festive spirit, so pop those into your basket, <laughs> 461, 687. Absolutely marvellous. And if you're a Freedom member, there's no PMP to pay on that. Uh, we've got more chalk paint, uh, this time Viva Decor. You've got two options, and you've got a whole variety in the options right here. So your top row, you've got uh, your classic, so you've got some gorgeous blues and greens, and you've got that pink in there and the darker, uh, more like a peacock blue or peacock green and then the bottom row you've got your Christmas but it doesn't have to be for Christmas it's just a nice bright colors in there I think they've given this to Christmas because of your red and the white predominantly so you can use that any time of year and uh, you know with the metallic colors as well uh, so two great chalky paint sets for you here zero five four four two nine is your item number they're chalky did I say metallic it's got like sort of, yeah sort of like a metallic style to it but they are chalk paints to give you that wonderful coverage 12.99 what a price what a price now i've got a bit of um sanding paper here does it come with, with sanding each paper? Um, set you get three sponges Ooh. and you get a, a piece of sanding paper as well Ooh. so you can get started straight away so you can key your surface and then sponge yeah i mean you can paint the paints on but they look um, they're great for sponging techniques and layering up on top of it and you also get a little leaflet as well giving you some ideas on how to decorate and apply the paint so it's almost like a little workshop in a box zero five four four two nine is your item number unfortunately lou doesn't come in that little box do you lou no uh, I'm, I'm... we tried to sort that out but we just couldn't do it we tried to put her into one and that didn't happen um but you will have that leaflet in there the sanding paper and the sponges so you're good to go it's a great gift for yourself or someone you know right lou let's head over to you for um a demonstration uh, so draw yourself together uh -huh. <laughs> oh very impressed right i'm gonna have a play with some of the chalk paints but i'm not gonna make anything per se I thought we'd just play on all the different surfaces and I'm going to start with the home decor ones by folk art these are a distress chalk paint so what does that mean it means they're designed to give a distress vintage look right from the outset so I'm going to take the drawers out because I can see them flying everywhere now this is a piece I've got at home and all I've done is I've just cleaned the surface down straight away um, and I, oh, I, I'm going to go for this beautiful grey. So, so when the paints come, I normally put the lid on and give them a really good shake and then I'll give them a stir. And they're a really thick consistency to the actual paint. Now I'm going to use a paintbrush to put it on. And it's going, it goes on beautifully. It's got a really um, creamy... I was trying to think of um, texture to it. Yeah, like um, um, buttery. You know that sort. Of, it's you don't have to put any effort on. Yeah. You know when you paint. Sometimes when you put paint on, it it feels like it should be hard work because when you stir these, yeah, you, you actually feel your physical resistance when you yeah. stir. But then the contrast when you paint. Yeah. Now, does it dry quickly, Lou? This will dry between one and two hours. Okay. And then it's ready for another coat if that's what you want to do. 
Because I had some, uh, I bought some chalk paint to go on a project, and it was drying pretty quickly. And then I realised the factor was, I was doing it outside in the hot sunshine. Ah, uh, yes. these are predominantly indoor more yes. than outdoor yes. paints. Um, so that's just doing one coverage. And I've gone over. It's not. It's wood, but it's yeah. got like a plasticky yeah. coating yes, on I've it. Got you. Uh, I'm trying to think of melamine sort of coating. Yeah. I couldn't think of the word. And but that's just one coat with the, the, the light grey. Isn't it satisfying? Even if oh. you've, you, know, you don't normally paint anything, when you put this paint on, to it's see how smooth... It, it's almost like... It's the difference between... You know when you try and spread butter yeah. on a piece of bread and yeah. it breaks the bread up and it ruins your sandwich and then you're hungry for the rest of the day and you get all <laughs> grumpy? Yeah? That's okay. like regular paint. And then you get that lovely soft spread that you've discovered and you put that and it just glides over the bread, I, leaving it nice and soft to put your sandwich toppings on. Gosh, well, that's kind I, of this, isn't it? I, are you hungry? <laughs> I am, yes. I ended up just having my breakfast. So far, I, I'm going to say coverage on this. So far, I've dipped my paintbrush twice and I've done the whole of that side and I'm doing the front. You get an incredible amount of coverage with the paint. So they're going to go, you know... A long way and I'm not being I mean yes I could be you know, tight with it but it's still covering and, and I've also, just done the whole and I still haven't put do you know when you're going down that bit that you're going down now yeah it's all very well going down the side and it's like yeah this is going on fine but these are the tricky bits that when you're putting uh, like normal paint on mm. you've got to keep going over and reapplying just taking it over those parts there, it's, and it's your perfect coverage. And, it's, and I could go on the inside. I mean, I've gone for the lighter grey because what I would do is I'd let this dry and I'd sand it back and I'd either go over with that beautiful creamy colour or the white yeah. and then highlight the darker parts. Yeah. So I'm just going to put that to one side. You know when you go, oh, that was a good idea and now I'm running out of space. So I've grabbed one of the drawers. Now the drawers... A similar material, but it seems to have an extra layer yeah. of that plastic on. So what I've done is I have sanded one side, but I've left the other side um, free. So I'm going to grab a different colour. No, it's with go. the Viva Decor paints that you get the sanding paper and the sponges. Yeah. Uh, so if you are going for uh, the other set of chalky paints, the, one, the home decor ones, the folk art, um, just pick up a piece of sanding paper. What would you recommend, Luke? Because there's all kinds of different... Sanding paper, there's coarse, there's fine. There's I, I always start off slightly coarser yeah. and then, you know, gradually get finer and finer. Ah, okay. But then I think it depends on the surface you're working on. Because if you start off too co with too coarser, you could take away more, you could give yourself more work, if what I'm saying, because then you might have to sand it really down to make it nice and smooth. Yeah. But, yeah, so I've got, I, like I said, when you stir these, you can really, they're really lovely thick. And it looks like they're going to go a long way. Well, it, well you sort of have hardly used anything on that um, side. So I thought we'd try this colour here. Oh, look. And so this is the side that I've actually sanded. And I thought this went beautifully. The two sets actually work together brilliantly. So I've taken the lighter grey from the set one or the grey from... But I could easily mix it in with the stone colours. Yeah. So if I go over this side here, now I didn't do any sanding. I've cleaned it. So it's not greasy. Okay. You can still get a good coverage, but you would probably need a second coat. Whereas where I've sanded this one, if you only wanted to do one coat, you can see that that is covered that. But I, I'm going to say I don't think that's done a bad job on that one at all. Oh, it's a remarkable job, and it just looks like it's going on so beautifully. It's going on beautifully. It's going on really quickly, really easily. So I'm just going to. I have to finish it. Finish it off. Sorry. Otherwise, it's when I get home, it's going to look weird. So you could add your stencils on. If I took the, the, the little handle off, I could have added stencils on. But you can use your chalk paints with stencils. Get a sponge and stencil through and yeah. create all your different um, patterns and everything that you're doing from there. That's so we can put idea. it onto the wood. So let's move my drawer out of the way. I'm going to move the colour out of the way. I'm running up. Now, what I have got is this is um, a box... And I've just covered it, I think it's actually with a black gesso, I can't remember. But I just wanted to show that you, even though with a gesso, and I've used it as a key, I can take a lighter colour and go over the top again. So if I try the white, have I opened the white? Yes. You know when you go, have I opened it? I'm just going to quickly give it a stir. 
Now, it, it does say on the side, you know, do give them a good stir. And that's just to, you know, get everything working together, binding together, right. Can, can you mix the paints? Like, if you've yeah, got of course the, you can. the black and the white, you want to... You'd you know, get a you different to... sort, yeah, yeah. grey. If you mix the yellow, my paintbrushes, you can tell these are the paintbrushes I use for this type of thing. They're all falling apart. And it's water-based as well. Yeah, so, so clean just... up, as you can see. So I'm going to go over, and this is the white, and I'm going straight over the black. And I just wanted to show, you know, how good the coverage is. Now, chalk paint is known for having really good coverage, but... To me, if you're doing a project, knowing that you know you can lazily, quickly create something, and that's just the white gone straight on top of yes. a layer of black. And I think that's one of the things about these these home ones. So you could, so I'm painting that on. Let's put that down there. I'm going to put a little bit on the mat. I'll just move that out of the way before I knock it over. And I've just got a little brush here, a little stipple brush. I want to take off a lot of... So you can still do... Let's put this on a cloth so it doesn't bounce. So I can still do... You can still do all your different techniques so I can stipple with it. And I could build up lots of other colours. Just use a... You've got quite a short brush doing this, that. This, this actually is a paintbrush that went to paintbrush heaven, <laughs> <laughs> for want of a better inscription. And um, so I've just cut away the, the bristles. So I'm going to add in another colour to it, and then we'll add in some of the yellow. So you, like you were saying, so now I can create a bit more of a marbling effect. And I'm covering up. I'm going back over the white. So this is on the um, on a keyed surface on the black, but it's got fantastic coverage straight away. Yeah. Let's grab a bit more of the white. Oh, I could get lost doing this. You know when you just go. I know. Grab a little bit of the yellow. Well, I'm, I'm getting lost myself actually because I'm just using um, some of the other the other paint. <laughs> You caught me. I'm just making a little swatch up, um, but I have got a little dirty, um, as I always do. So uh, I'm just going to wipe my hands on some tissue that's <laughs> already dirty, so I'm going to dirty myself even more. So I'm adding a little bit of that yellow in. So you can use all your stippling. So this, you could, put, if you went through a stencil and did this, or even with sponging. And the coverage just from that really, really quickly. Yeah. I mean, I would keep building and building and building and building, but I can't. Get, it's brilliant where it's straight over the black, and, I, and I'm, and I've got one coat. I'd sand it down and probably age it a little bit because you can add your waxes on top of your chalk paint oh, as I well. Can. Yeah, you know, and then you can create your vintage vibe a little bit more. So let's put that running out of space. Let's put that there. This is the only thing when you do big projects, isn't it? Now, this is a glass jar from I don't know where, but I've had it for a while. <laughs> and I thought we'd give this a go as well. So I'm just going to grab the white for the moment because that's the one I've got the most out of on here. I'm just going to put a little bit there because I've got a little bit of colour. And I'm just going to go straight away over the glass. And it's covering it beautifully. Now, you don't have to use a paintbrush. You could sponge if you wanted um, a little bit more texture. You could sponge. You could stipple. He's covering it really well, though. And to go on glass like that is absolutely fantastic. And then in an hour, two hours, you could... Um, I would... If this was going to be for me at home, I would very, very lightly sand it back. And then I would... Um, dry brush in and with another colour so you could age it so we can do so like you say this is just with the glass and this bottle I can't even remember where or how but that was just to show so that's there we go Lou we're <laughs> going to pause just for a moment sorry it seems like I was miles away I kind of was because I was just 
put in some paint uh, on some swatches, but I got myself into a little bit of a mess at the same time. So uh, I do beg your pardon. Um, I never promised you a rose garden, but <laughs> here's your little swatch just there. And if you think, oh, there's one missing, uh, that's because that one, there you go, is white. Probably put it on a little bit too generously, but uh, I was just thinking about the time. It's all good. Uh, so you've got the white, grey and black. That is set number one. Is that the bottom row? Do you know what? I think I called that set number three last time. The one on the bottom row. Yeah, that is, sorry, that is. Do you know what? If I turn it that way, I won't be so confused. Uh, that's set number three and that's set yeah. number one at the top. And the set on my hand is a mixture of both. <laughs> <laughs> now, set number three is nearly half the stock gone already, so we're very, very busy for that, your chalk paint. And there's set number one at the top. There you go. And again, I'm not quite sure what sets I've got on my hands, uh, but I have some. Uh, so those are your two sets of your chalky paints. If you want to go for those, 12 99 each. 461 687 is your item number. Now, your Viva Decor, ooh, been busy for this as well. Remember, your Viva Decor, you get your sponges to put it on with, you get your sanding paper, and you also get your leaflet as well, which will tell you all about uh, how to put the paint on. So if we open that up, you can see just there. Uh, now, we've got two sets for you, for you to choose from. They're £12.99 each. You're saving £14.18. Uh, so your top set there, you've got your classics. So you've got some lovely classic colours in there, some great vintage vibes going on. And then on the bottom set, you've got your Christmas set, which is gorgeous with that red and the lovely grey in there and the white as well. So two fantastic sets. What a great kit to get in the box. So you've got your sponges and you've got your um, sanding paper as well. 054429 is your item number if you want to go for that. And then we've got some window decoration kits for you here. Now, these are fascinating uh, because you've got your little moulds here. If I take that and just turn it to the side, a little bit of depth in there. Um, so you've got, I think it's that way. Yeah, you can see that. So you've got a birdhouse in there. You've got your snow um, flakes in there. You've also got that uh, stag, which is fantastic. You've got your snowflakes in there and your flourishes. And you've also got... As you can see there, your logs and your icicles. Now, what you do with this is take your transparent glass colour, which is here. Uh, so it is transparent, but it is called glass colour. And then you place it into the moulds, not very deep, and then you let it set. And then once it's set, you can take them off and you can make all kinds of different decorations for them. And to show you exactly what you're getting... I hold it that way? Yeah. So, at the moment, are they stalactites or stalactites? No, they're icicles. They're icicles. Uh, you've got that lovely birdhouse. Uh, again, some more um, icicles with your snow and your trees. It's brilliant, isn't it? Isn't that fantastic? So, if you do want to go for that, £13.99. 040735 is your item number. Now, a reminder of some of the other items we've got on the show. Uh, these were busy and still continue to be busy. 9 99 for your embellishment pack. You've got your organza ribbon in there. You've also got your sentiments. It really is uh, a marvellous, marvellous set to get hold of. Only 9 99 239 435 is your item number. Now, we also have some bling for you we all like a bit of bling don't we and a, a bling isn't just for christmas uh so uh you've got your different packs here it's a sorted bling roll so it's easy to cut into you can use as much or as little as you like 999 338 338 is your item number so that's very easy to remember isn't it uh, right we're heading back to lou for more demonstrations right lou i've stopped my painting so i'm with you what are we doing now right these i'm using the viva decor christmas set and I've already started, sorry. <laughs> you know, when you go, and I've just got a wooden chip. You can get them and decorate them up. And all I've done is I've taken the colours from the Christmas and I've just laid down the white and the red. And I'm just doing a, quite a simple generic snowman. I like that. And that's just going straight onto the wood? Yeah. So you've not gessoed it at no. all? No, going straight. I, I actually want the wood circles to be shown through. Okay. So I know what I'm painting on, not, oh. not obliterating it. Yeah. If I covered it all white first, now I'm going to, now, you need to let it dry, obviously, in between. 
So that's going to be his scarf. And I'm going to clean that off. I love it when you start with nice clean water and then it just deteriorates. Uh, now with mine, I keep either the, the lid on to protect it or I will, if I've taken that off, because I know we get a little bit gusto where you just rip the whole thing off. Yeah. Um, cling film or stick thingy. Yes. I will cut a little bit. I do it for two reasons. One, to keep the product underneath. But two, you know when we get all the gunk around the outside? Yes. If you, you the cling film picks all the gunk up so you can take your lid off a lot easier. Is that and, how you do it? And then you just put that, I know it's not probably, I wash it. Yes. And then I'll use it, again, it again and again and again. Yeah. That is a great idea. Um, so I do it for, you know, do it for that reason. Yeah. And you can shake your paints up or Making you sure can the stir lid's on them, whatever. Safely. Uh, sorry? Making sure the lid's on safely. Well, I'm not saying a word. Yeah, that's what I found out this morning. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. So we're just going to open this up. There we go. So this one I haven't used yet. So this way. So I will keep this. So I either keep it on like that. Yeah. Or if I take it away, I would replace it with, like I said, um, some sandwich wrap. I never know whether to leave those on or not. It's the same with face cream and stuff. Never know whether I, to. Cause for me, I, do, I, do, I, yeah. I just, it's. I feel it's a little bit awkward peeling it back every time. But we don't want it to dry out, do we? No. No. I mean, I don't. I, I don't know. If with face cream, whether I do, I think I just take the whole lot yeah. off, sort of thing. I, I shows you maybe I treat my paints. <laughs> Better <laughs> than I do my face cream. cream. <laughs> just don't get them mixed up. Yeah. So I just want to see if I get right. So let me just get grey everywhere. Now I'm just using the back of my paintbrush, and all I want to do is I just want to add a little bit of shading. Yeah. Only because I haven't got a finer paintbrush here. So you can use your these chalk paints to do, and I'll get the sponges out in a moment, but you can use them for all your crafting projects. So I want the back off. Could you use yep. them on boxes? I've got some boxes here we can have a go with. That's not a good paintbrush to use. That will do. You know when you go, oh, I'm going to, I haven't brought my fine paintbrushes with me, which is what I would normally use. But what I just want to do is I just want to add some little bit of shading to the hat. So I'm going over, it's just to show that one colour, even with these, can go over, and it's going over my pencil marks as well as the other chalk paint underneath. So you get a decent coverage with this building up, and I've only put one layer down of each. Yeah. I mean, if you wanted this to be whiter, you could let it dry and put more and more down. I would keep going and gradually you know, build up the pattern more and more and more and then we can do his eyes. This will be my project this afternoon when I get finished because I'll have to finish it now. Do we have another show with you this afternoon then? No, we? no, no, I have. Oh. This is, I, I elected for the early bird shift. <laughs> <laughs> she says, right, so this, I've got some letters here. Now we have got letters on the website. I want to grab a sponge. Where is it? There we go. Oh, I did bring some over. Um, and this one has a mixture of gesso, paste, mm, I don't, you know when well, you go, I'm not so quite sure. So we have sure. these letters on the show, do we? No, no, I said oh, we on have the got website. Patch ah. letters on the website, ah, sorry. right. What, you're thinking, oh, oh, yeah, I said, oh, they look good. Uh, right, so I'm going to get the, the red. Now this red is really intense. This is the one that you said was very, um, like had a metallic. Yeah, it's like it's a metallic look to it, you know, just bright and vibrant. But um, no, it's so I can use a paintbrush. I'm going to do, and I can go over. So that's gone over. This is alcohol inks underneath the texture paste. There's glitter. There's, oh. So that's a really good coverage. So this one. This, the, the difference between the paints, this will dry a little bit quicker, yeah. but this is a little bit more chalkier. Okay. Um, and when we say chalkier, what do we mean for those people at home that perhaps have not so used like a, chalky paints before? So a chalk paint will, will have a um, um, chalk content in it, and it just means it can be a little bit, um, it'll be flat, yeah. but it'll have a dusty look to it, oh, okay. if that makes, because it's got a higher yes, chalk content yeah. to it. When you think about chalk dust and you're using chalk, mm. that's the only way I can exchange the analogy, yeah. sorry. Absolutely perfect. So I, we can put this on, as I said, with the, the paintbrush, but we get these brilliant sponges. Now, I actually at home, I cut mine in half. 
do you? Well, you get six then. You've got five paints, but then you've got six sponges, and one is a mixture of a different colour. Sorry. No idea. And like, you know, you just go, and I'm just going to put some on, and I'm just going to put some on the glass mat as well. And you can, you get just as good coverage. Sponging is a really nice way to add texture. Yes. And it, it's speed as well with sponging. And I haven't keyed any of these, even though we've got the um, sandpaper in there. Now that is going on really easy, not, not even using a brush, no. but with the sponge. And it makes it quick to do. So imagine doing this on your furniture. On your, could we use this um, like on your kitchen cabinet doors? Um, I don't know. I've always used it craft-wise, so I don't really... I'd hate to say, yes, you can, and then someone tries it and it doesn't yeah. last. Um, to be if honest, it's crafting, I, definitely, definitely crafting, and then I, you can use it on a lot of different surfaces. So I've gone this letter really quite quickly. You can see, so we've got. I love the sponge because it just adds that little bit of texture. I'm going to grab a bit of the white, the opposite side. That's another reason for the, the different sponges where you can turn it over, Let's knock some of that back. And you can add a little bit. And I wash the sponges as well. So after I've done it, I will wash these. They will get stained, but you can then keep using them and using them and using them. That looks really effective, though, doesn't it? And you've gone straight onto I, the red. You didn't even let it dry. No, I mean, if you really want this to be a lovely, crisp white, yeah. let it dry. But, but, I it, but I like it. I like it like that. And then it almost got... gives a, a sort of like a vintage worn look to yeah. it. And because we're using the sponge as well, it's sometimes with a paintbrush you can go too far. With a sponge it gives you that feathered look yeah. without having to... I think sometimes we use a paintbrush, we overthink feathering. Yes. Whereas the sponge just does it for us. But that's, you know, done really, really quickly. I like that. And it does look like an old rusty, you know, the, like, like an old metal sign. Yes. It's been painted red years and years and years ago. It's weathered. Mm. And now you've got that little worn look to it, which that just captures that perfect. I love that. But so all the sets we've got on, I mean, like I said, the first one that I did with the drawer here, I'm going to just move this red out of the way. I mean, this is dry already. But oh, I, yeah. you mean... And that's all, and now let me get red on it now. <laughs> Great effect though, Lou. Yeah, send that down. But that's dry already, and yeah. I've just added then some of the yellow on top of it with yeah. um, dry brushing it with, with my finger. Ignore the red, pretend the red yeah. isn't there. It looks good um, though, doesn't it? But this, so when we say ultra flat matte, that is a lot flatter in it. The, when I rub it, less chalk comes off yeah. on my hand. Whereas this one, when it's dry, it'll still be flat. It won't be quite as flat. But it does have more of a chalky, as you can see. It will have a little bit more of a chalk. Yeah, thing. chalky finish. Yeah, and then you can go over it, use your gel mediums and, and add other layers and do lots of other different things on top of it. But the chalk paints, you, there are so many things you can do. Yeah. As you can see, I've done a little bit of everything. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's exciting, isn't it? You've never used chalk paints before. What a great way to dip your toes into them. I mean, don't literally <laughs> dip your toes into them when you get them home. Uh, but you know what I mean. £12.99. You've got two choices. You've got the classic, which is the top, as you can see here. So we've got some really nice colours in this particular one. Uh, you've got... I'm not going to even pronounce the first one. I can't see the c colour. Um, I think... If you can see, you've got that lovely like a duck egg uh, greeny blue. Uh, you've got the lighter blue in there, that nice soft peachy colour, um, a white colour, and then a really nice, I'd probably say it's like a peacock colour. Um, gorgeous. Uh, you get your sandpaper and you also get your leaflet as well. And in your leaflet, it will tell you exactly how to put those paints on, give you some nice suggestions. You can see they're using the sponge. Our Lou gave you a top tip. You get three sponges in the kits you can see i'll just bring them in there three sponges and uh, lou cut the hers in half and you can do that to yours you get those as well so it's like a little craft project in a box now set number two is down the bottom and you get five paints in that and that is your christmas and you can see there you've still got the gray in there that lovely peachy color in fact those two colors are the colors of next year 
grey and yellow, grey and peach, very, very on trend. £12.99, 054-429 is your item number if you want to go for that particular set. Now, we've also got the Folk Art chalky paint that's been very, very busy and I've managed to get it in the right order this time. Uh, so, the top set, so we'll have a look at that, set number one. Uh, I know I've put white paint onto a white card, but you can see there. So, you've got your white, your grey and your black. And then the bottom colours in a set of three. Yeah, you've got your cobblestone, you've got your Bavarian and your Java. I think they're fabulous together. Um, great prices, everyone. Twelve ninety nine for a set of three. You could actually get both sets for less money than it would cost you normally to buy uh, one set. Uh, so that is an excellent deal. It really is. Um, if you want to go for any of those or all of those, the details on your screen right now for your folk art chalk paint. Fantastic. Now we've got some more items for you. Uh, this is your ready card kit. And you know what? It is ready, ready to go. This is your vintage card kit. Uh, beautiful flowers in here. Just taking you through some of the papers that you've got in here. Nice vintage colours. Uh, you've even got your envelopes as well as your card blanks. So you can see there you've got those fabulous decoupage cutouts. Um, this is really easy to do because it gives you the items already kiss cut. So you just push them out. And it's numbered as well, so you know exactly how to layer those up. If you want your card toppers, um, you've got those as well, so you can start matte and layering. You can follow it to the letter, or you can do your own designs if you want to. Um, or, yes, follow it to the number. That's a very good point. Uh, let's just gather those up. Let me show you the actual instructions that are there. So you can see you've got one side. You can follow it, all of your instructions. But the great thing is, although it's in German, the pictures are there in multilingual language. Uh, then you've got your cards. So if you're thinking, oh, that's nice, that border down there, they're included. And again, all you have to do is just simply push those out. So it's a great little kit to get for £19.99. pence building and creating some beautiful cards. And if you want to go for any of the extra bling or bows we've got, head to the website and have a look for those. But I'm sure you'll agree, they really do add dimension to any card when you start to decoupage. Really stand out, don't they? 143332 is your item number if you want to go for your Ready Cards Vintage Flower Card Kit. Well, oh, said that well. Um, now, we were busy for this earlier. This is so lovely. I love the colours in here and I love the designs as well. Absolutely adore the birds. Love the sentiments as well. You've got a really beautiful font. You've got your butterflies in there and your flowers. They all mix, they all match. You can use them separately or you can bring them all together. Uh, you've also got your organza ribbon and you've got your um, gems in there as well, your gemstones. So bringing all of that together would make some beautiful cards, maybe something for your journals, for your scrapbooks. It's only 9 99 to get the whole kit and caboodle. And our um, Lou came up with a great idea for our next item changing that into a journal because we've got some great paper pads for you uh, so i believe that they would go beautifully with these as well because they're similar colors 9.99 if you want to go for your k and co flower and message embellishment pack with your organza ribbon perfect uh, everything else on the website you can go and have a look there you go have a look my duke and everything's going to be dispatched on the 4th of January. So it's going to arrive to you at a time when you just want that inspiration, when you just need something else to do. It's going to arrive on your doorstep just at the right time. Freedom members, no PMP to pay. Uh, you don't pay uh, any PMP because it's a membership that uh, you apply for by putting triple eight, triple eight in your basket. It's 5 a month and you can end it at any time. Just get in touch and let us know. But it's a fabulous way of saving money on your postage and also saving on uh, discounted items as well. Let's head back to Lou. How long have we got on the show? We've got about five minutes left on the show, Lou. I know. Oh, it goes quick. I know it, it does. I, I didn't realise I got so carried away with chalk paint. Sorry. Um, right, now I'm going to use the K&Co kit that we, you were talking about with all the birds. Yes. And I've just cut myself some squares, but the square background here is actually the paper packaging that the stickers come from. So I thought, why waste it? Because it's perfectly colour coordinated. And come on, glue. Thank you. So I, what I've done is I've just I've taken a square card blank and I just want to... So I'm mirroring it with some squares. 
and we've got the ribbon in there and all I've done is taken a really small piece of ribbon looped it over just to create um, another texture another layer and red liner tape which I'm probably going to live to regret in a moment oh no it came off and I just want to layer up these squares and some I'm going to do flat and some I'm going to do a little bit more dimension so I've got this one here that I want to put down so when you get your packaging, I know we all say look at your packaging, but this one is beautifully tonally matching the stickers. So I've got that going there. I've already, I've done exactly the same with the ribbon. And I'm just going to see if the 3D foam pad will play fair. You know what's nice about this? You know if you, if you just need that extra inspiration, you could start with this kit. Maybe you're new to card making. You could start with this kit, and then it's going to give you the impetus, the the um, inspiration to carry on card making. Mm. Then maybe venture out into getting some dies, getting some stamps, and really moving forward with it. It is, yeah. And it's it's also kits like this are fantastic if you're wary about colour choices, because suddenly you see people mixing colours together that you think, hmm. Um, you know, shouldn't really go together, but all of a sudden, when you see see them in kits like this, you suddenly go, oh, they do. Now, the, all I thought I've done, so I've just created the simple squares and just the ribbons for a little bit of backing, and I thought we could then add some of these beautiful floral elements. So, let's go there. And which butterfly do you think we should use, Janice? Which butterfly? I think... Oh. Have a look at the card you're making again. Have a look at the butterflies again. Now the back of the card again. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. Uh, maybe the maybe the top right. That one or that one? Uh, which, what do you right. think? Oh yeah, we'll go for a, a bit more purple. Yeah, the top okay. right. So I had to. I'm not very good at my right and left. Oh, I'm not. I just said that and just hope you would pick one or the I other. Didn't. <laughs> Luckily, it wasn't panning on me going right, left, right. Oh, that one. I have no idea. I just I, I pick one, and then you know you choose one, and hopefully between us we'll be half right. <laughs> <laughs> and like I said, these are beautifully. So I want to put that one across there. And that, that's just three of the stickers, and that, and then we've got all these lovely little ones. I just want to add oh that's nice see i'm being very generous with my stickers i probably would have stopped there but you know you've got those little bits of bling on yeah. here so Isn't let's lovely. bring and these ones have got glitter yeah so you've got one that's without glitter on and then you've got one with glitter on and the the jewels so i just want to tuck and i guess that this one. would also help you with um like your composition yes so i mean it's just three elements three smaller elements and, and that's my card. And the background was from the actual sheet. So if we then pick a word, so what, let's have a look. Amazing, thanks, hugs, smile, joy. Oh. Friends. Friends, you want? Yeah. Okay. So we can put the friends. Oh, that's nice. Because the font goes with the style. Yeah of the stickers and the drawings, doesn't it, Lou? Yeah, totally. So that is just a really quick card using those stickers and everything like that. So when you think if you wanted to recreate that, I could do that now, one, two, three, four, uh, make another four cards the same and still have loads left over. And I haven't yeah. even touched half the embellishments, you know, with the wordage and at I like, all. And I like the background with the words as well, because you've mm. got that, like... Um, uh, like fawn colour, haven't you? Yeah, well, the, it? it's, a, it's very it's like hard a cream. to show. But it's cream colour, yeah. but it's encapsulated. It's got glitter and little dots encapsulated. Ooh. But the words, the, the actual um, font itself is glittered. It is. It's, oh, it's that... really, can you, it's got like a, um, where you can see, it's got like a little green iridescence glitter in it. Yeah, I'll try and, I'll try and, let me, um, can you... Yeah, I think you can see it. When I t tilt it all the way back, I can see it here in the studio, definitely. I'm just trying to capture it for you at home. Just think it's because of the... Yeah, we've got plastic on it. It can be difficult. So, if I peel some off, maybe, she says. We've <laughs> only got about two minutes left, but let me... Here we go. Here we go. Let's. There you go. 
Will that, will that, sh yeah, that, sh yeah, there you go. Now you can see it, uh, which looks beautiful. Just something a little bit extra special so you, in you've there. got the gloss from the stickers, but then yeah. you've got that little bit of glitter as well. Yeah. I think it's, it, it's a Love nice that. little touch together, isn't yeah. it, sort of thing? it really is. Oh, they're fantastic. They really are. And you've got lots to choose from. Right, we've got one minute left on the show or thereabouts. Um, is this your last show today, Lou? It is, Last yes. show before Christmas? Yeah, I'm not back till New Year. Oh, Merry Christmas, Merry Lou. Christmas to you. It's been lovely doing lots of shows uh, with you throughout the year. Let's take a quick look at those chalk paints. We've been very, very busy for these, my goodness. So this is set number three that I'm showing you at the moment. Set number three, um, we have got a little swatch here to show you. So set number three is on that side, which is really nice. Uh, so you've got your Bavarian, your Java, and your cobblestone. So that's set number three, only twelve ninety nine. And then you've got set number one, which is on the other side. You've got your black, white, and grey. And you can see, there you go, your black, white, and grey. Uh, and that's set number one if you want to go for that. Excellent value for money, £12.99. 461687 is your item number. So enjoy receiving everything that we've seen today in the post in January and then start crafting and be inspired. Lou, thank you so much. You. Have a lovely Christmas and, and we'll see you January the 1st. January the 1st. Um, take a look at the website. That's where you can go to to see everything we've got available for you on the show. You can still buy after the show, but we'll see you after the break. Remember, check out those baskets. <laughs> The way the time goes. We're letting Leone loose now. We've got a big safe show for you. Pink Frog Crafts, big safe one day special after that. Don't miss that. And then back to Joseph Bear and the big safe there. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family-run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Achanda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on Achanda. Lucy from Sweet Poppy Stencils, the Craft Station Limited. We're a craft retailer and we specialise in stainless steel stencils. Our stencils are manufactured in metal. Uh, this allows us to have designs that are intricate. We also have new products coming on board. Um, our craft bonds, our uh, pole drops and acrylic paints are joining us. We've recently joined Hachanda and we're really excited. This allows us to demonstrate and show our products. Um, we know customers like seeing um, the demonstrations. So make sure you tune in and don't miss the Sweet Poppy shows on Hachanda. I'm Charmaine from Dolly Dimples and I've been crafting since I was a little girl and I have a massive passion for anything crafty related. Dolly Dimples is a fictional character in Dolly Dimples Town. There's uh, whimsical characters, fantasy characters, mythical characters. There's so much going on, so much happening in Dolly Town 
and it's a fun place to be in. Our products are all hand drawn, that makes them quite unique because you've got that quirkiness about them. We have decoupage, backing papers, we have templates for 3D objects, stencils in the mix, we have dies and lots of other things coming to you soon. Make sure you tune in for the Dolly Dimple shows on a chanda and have some fun. Hi, I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and we're really excited to still be working with you guys here on Hachanda. We were there from the very, very beginning and we're still bringing you lots of really exciting soft crafts. We design and manufacture all of our kits and all of our fabrics here in the UK and we love bringing them to you. So if you're an experienced sewer or you're just starting out in soft crafts and sewing, join us. There's tips and fabrics for everybody. Make sure you don't miss our shows and come and craft yourself silly on Hajanda. It's a very cheerful little song, that, isn't it? It really is. We have got Leone in the studio. We are letting her loose in a little while, of course. Uh, we've got Cats or Craft for you. I'm going to let Leone tell you all about it. I'm just introducing, then I'm going to go and watch from afar. But first of all, we'll pop over to the website and have a little look so you can be shopping ahead as well. These are just fantastic. Leone, I am so pleased I can sit and watch. Oh, these are well cool, aren't they? Um, I absolutely adore these images. They're really different, they're unique, they're really funky. Please look up Capsule Crafts on Instagram because her page is Fabulous. I mean, her artwork, I love the artwork. It's seriously cool. Um, Castle Craft, a brilliant brand, uh, brought in from uh, That's Crafty, so good quality and wonderful stamps. Um, Castle Craft have actually been designing and stamp manufacturing stamps um, from 2007, so they've been going for years and years now. And as I say, when you look on Instagram, um, the designs and her artwork is sensational. They're different. They're really, really quirky and unique and just wonderful. I mean, I love them because they're so, um, they're, they're nice and weird, aren't they? But it, when you're making cards, when you're doing things, these are going to sit gorgeously in your art journals, but you don't always want them to be standard. You don't always want them to be, you know, the run of the mill. So you need something different, and these utterly tick that box. Now, they're a red rubber stamp, a good quality red rubber stamp, ready for you to cut out, um, and obviously loads of detail. I mean, I love the shape in that one. I love that stamp. It's amazing. Um, and then the last one that we've got, the tree. Look at that tree. I mean, that is fabulous. They see, I, I like them because they're quirky, but they're a little bit dark and mysterious as well. I mean, this one, you could be building up the strangest, wonderful world with that. I do think as well, if you've got stamps from, say, Carabelle, or oh, if you've got stamps from um, from All and Create, I think these will work really well with some of those backgrounds. I mean, I'm looking at that flying tree. That one, it reminds me of a root vegetable that's like turned into a tree. Do you know what I mean? You could absolutely put Google eyes on that. But I'm looking at these and I'm thinking of some of those amazing backgrounds um, that we, we can get from All and Create with these on top. Honestly, they would work hand in hand. Let me show you some of the finished samples. These are from um, the wonderful All and Create Design Set. And Sorry, uh, that's that's what we're talking about a minute. And um, that's Crafty Design Team. And obviously, fabulous. I mean, I love these. 
I really like these. Just really bring that fabulous. Just a bit of that stamp. When I was uh, younger, not little at all, when I was younger, I used to do these things out of fine one. I used to call them thingy bobs. And they were just really weird little critters with googly eyes. And honestly, when I saw this collection, it was like, oh my word. It's almost like my thingy bobs have come into stamp world. I mean, something like that. I love that. Because that is just so, it's like, come on, smile. You know, if you're sending someone a card that you just want them to cheer or not want them to cheer up, you're just um, having a joke with them. I think that is ace. And look at that. I love that. I just think it's fantastic. And then Mr. Ratty. Mr. Ratty is amazing. Now, you have got lots of choices here. This is your first choice. Um, and what's that one called? Sorry, my love. Dodus. Oh, Dodus. Um, and yeah, love that. So you've got your fabulous, quirky little animals there and Mr. Ratty. Only $13.99. These are good size stamps. The second one, um, I do love this because it's got your, your little sheep in it. And this one is called Les Gorgo. Is that it? I think, yeah, we think, um, for, I mean, look at that. That's proper cool. Absolutely fabulous. I mean, they are seriously, seriously funky. The um, the shape, the shape is amazing, isn't it? Absolutely amazing. Um, so that's your second option. Leg or go. If I say it quickly, then it'll sound okay. Um, and then the third option, and this one is called Le Branches. Hooray, that one's easy. I must admit, I think this one's a bit of a favourite. I love that tree. I, I just think that is ridiculously cool. And it's just, again, so, so beautifully strange. And gosh, don't we need a little bit of beautifully strange in life? As if life isn't strange enough currently. But isn't that just fabulous? Oh, I love these stamps. So, options. Only £13.99. That's your price. Nice big stamps. Really, really quirky. 405941. That's your first collection um, with your different choices. The next collection and these are seriously cool. Look at these. Now, I have worked with these before. I did, couldn't find my finished sample from before because I used them for one of my books, but I love these. They, again, just so quirky. You know, you've got a special... I love these, the little family there. I mean, imagine bumping into them in a dark alley. Don't they look great? Absolutely fab. And look at look at him. He's ace. He's ace. So these are your humanoids, which are lovely. Absolutely lovely. And then you've got your birds. Now, your birds, these are sort of more normal-ish, um, but they're brilliant because look at the faces. Aren't they cool? They've got, they've actually got quite happy face. I love these. That's another favourite. So this is your, um, your Le, oh, Le Piafs. Um, so obviously we're thinking that means birds. I love them. And I like the one at the top because it looks like it's got little goggles on, which I think is seriously cool. Now, funnily enough, I did the, oh, I love it. And you can colour them in whatever colour you want. I mean, there's going to be someone in your life who looks like that, isn't there? You know? Let's face it, let's face it, it's like, you know, you could, and you could actually add bits too. I mean, if they need to put a beard on them or, you know, a pair of glasses or maybe change the hair. <laughs> um, and I love that with a Christmas hat. That is so funny. Absolutely fabulous. £13.99. Now, I know these have been seen before, so if you've already got these, I want to see photographs. Email in studio at tachanda.com. What have you done with yours? 275082. Now, next we've got for you, and I do apologise if... Um, we haven't managed to get loads of finished samples, but I'll demonstrate, so we'll have a good play. And anyway, it's all about the imagination. This one is seriously... I mean, look at that. Look at that. Imagine if you, you saw these out right in the wild. I mean, this is fabulous. This reminds me of Glastonbury. They do. Um, they did one one year, and they they sort of made things out to to repurpose metal and stuff like that. That absolutely reminds me of that. I love the elephant. I mean, that poor elephant. It looks like he's been. Um, it looks like his mum and dad got friendly with a. Well, one of them got friendly with a giraffe, doesn't they? I mean, it's just such a. a Fabulously quirky image. So that one, which is that one called, my love? Les Sauvages. 
Um, marvellous. So you can see that, ah, they're savages. Um, and then the next one is Le Marchands or Martins. <laughs> um, Marines. This reminds me, I don't know why, but when I looked at that, I decided it was chess pieces. I think it's literally just the horse at the bottom. But, oh, I love this as well. I mean, the fish and him. Hello, what is that? You know, any good? What is that over there? Um, but, but look at him. Hello. And I think, because we got sentiments in the second hour, we have got different stamps that we're not showing with this one. And I thought that sentiment, it says, um, the world is filled with nice people. If you can't find one, be one. And I just thought, for that stamped image, I thought that's brilliant. Because it doesn't matter what someone looks like, they might be nice. <laughs> uh, um, love it, absolutely love it. 13.99, 599244 is your item number. Again, really cool choices. That, that one, though. That's one of my faves. He's ace. He's ace. Um, 599244. Now, Big Save. We have got the Big Save, so we've got some Big Save products. And these are sensational. Look at the size of these. I mean, that's a weightlifting um, apparatus right there. You have got two pots of these for £12.98. Um, saving three pounds on your big save now you have got um two different applicators so you've got your big scoop that you can put your spoon in or of course you can sprinkle it out mix these with your texture paste mix these with your gel mediums to create a really beautiful gritty surface I mean, they are fabulous, fabulous for uh, texture. Really like that. Should be fifteen ninety eight uh, today as part of Big Save. Twelve pounds ninety eight pence. Zero five four nine eight one. Now we've also got for you. This sells out. Every, well, it sells ridiculously well every time our jaw has it on. This is your 3D holographic gel medium, and it's cool stuff. Only £11.99. You've got a really nice big pot. Then you can see there the, the gorgeous glitter with this. I'm hoping, I didn't dig mine out, I'm hoping it's still on my trolley from last time. If not, I might pinch this one to show you. But if I just open that up, I mean, look at that. It is super thick. Look, super thick, but it has got that wonderful holographic shimmer in there. It's just gorgeous stuff, is that? Gorgeous. And only £11.99, really good price. Now, the paints. We haven't got all the paints. I'm really sorry. Check on the website for the paints. But I wanted to show you these anyway because I wanted to show you the size of the pots because you have got a big save on this. Now, when you see them all on the website, you see all 12 beautiful colours. Uh, it should be 35.98, but you're saving 5.38 today. And you've got some lovely, lovely colours there. Um, and what you'll get with these is a really nice mixture. Obviously, acrylic paint, so they're going to be nice, fast drying. Uh, they'll give you a lovely cut of surface area. And as you can see, you have got a bit of a mixture. I think some are, if I remember correctly, some are transparent and some are opaque. I'd have to check that, though. Um, but really nice paints from that Crafter, and you can do loads of different techniques. And um, do apologise with one of these. I wanted to show you these anyway, just so you can see the actual size of the pots. That is... Um, 590469, your item number, um, saving 538. Now, we have got other big saves. Have a look at the website, because we didn't get sent, and I was gutted, actually. We didn't get sent the... Um, the, uh, MD, uh, the chipboard. And the chipboard looks ace. The cheese board chipboard. I really like that. Can you imagine that? We all your critters on it. That would be so fantastic. Um, so we have got that. So please, please check that out. We've also got a why not deal for you as well. Um, oh, let's have a little look see. Oh, is this as you're checking out your baskets? Ooh, so we've got stencils. I've got some stencils to play with. Oh, and look at that. You've got some beautiful motivational words. And look at your prices on them. They're amazing. You like texture paste. And with that texture paste, you can add your beautiful gritty stuff to that to obviously create some really cool um, textures. There's some really good add-ons in there. So please have a little look-see. Now, what I'm going to start with, okay, I'm just going to pick up one of your stamp sets. So let's have a little bit of stamping, first of all. And I have got so many stamp sets to show you. Oh, which one should I do first? Let's do this one. So, that's this one, okay? So you've got your fabulous little 
whatever he is. You've got the snail. I'm not being funny, but you won't want that in your garden. He is going to absolutely demolish everything in your garden. You've got the bunny rabbit, which is ace, and then the sheep. Now, with these, they are a rubber stamp. Before I'm cutting them out, I'm just going to actually stamp them up because this is a really quick and easy way of getting a print. I do cut them out eventually to use them independently, but initially this is lovely to actually get the quality of the stamp and see the stamp. I'm just inking gently because I'm trying not to go onto the red rubber. Uh, my ink pad is nice and juicy. It's first fine clear and I have re-inked it. So nice juicy ink pad. There we go. And I'm going to take some of my watercolour cardstock, obviously, um, from um, Pink, not Pig, from Pink Frog. Sorry, I still get my pinks mixed up. Even though I did like three hours of Pink Frog yesterday, I still get me and um, pinks mixed up. But from, from Pink, Pink Frog, then it is the watercolour card stock that is on that show. So there we go. And look at that. Now, this is on watercolour cardstock. That isn't with an acrylic block, and I even moved my stamp, but look at the quality of that image. Look at the detail. You can see all the cross hatching. You can see, look at his look at his face. I mean his face is fabulous. Shall I spin it around so we can see it? I mean it's absolutely fabulous. Look at his little face. Isn't it cool? How quirky is that? Look at him, look at the snail. See? Eating all the lettuce is that one. I mean, it is fabulous. And look at him. He is fantastic. So really, really crystal clear stamps. And that is literally just stamping as, um, you know, as you get them off the block. But let's have a little bit of a play. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually really quick. Oh, shall I cut it out? No, I'm not going to cut that one out. I'm going to take one that I've already cut out. Let me get one of my other little critters. So I'm going to take the one. Oh, that's in the second hour, isn't it? Sorry, sorry, sorry. That is in the second hour, the one with the giraffe. I was sneaking that in. No, hold on a minute. Let me find one I've actually cut out. There he is. I love him. Okay, this one, right. I love him from there. I don't know the names. I do apologise. It's the one where it reminds me of the chess set. This one, though. He's amazing. What's he called? Ladentes. Fabulous. Now, what I'm going to do is pop a little bit of glue on the back of here. Normally, um, I use my glue stick, but I'm just using a little bit of glue. And that'll be fine. That's all I need. Um, pop that to one side for a second um, to let that glue set. And I'm just going to get another piece of watercolour cardstock. And let's get some of those paints. Because you can play with backgrounds, because you can play and experiment with these, um, let's get a couple of colours from my paints. Now, obviously, I'm not 100% sure um, which colours you've got in there. But have a little look at the website and some of these colours you will find um, on the website anyway because I've got a little bit of everything going on here um, and they're, they're scrolling on the bottom of the screen for you um, and there are a lot of paints from That's Crafty they're there they're coming up so you can see all the paints that you are getting in that bundle and it is a lovely bundle I do like the yellow the yellow is absolutely gorgeous so all we're going to do is get some colour down so first of all take my paintbrush doing one of my favourite things and I do this a lot so I do apologise but it's my favourite thing so I'm just going to take my my yellow and what I'll actually do I'll water it down slightly so it's not too thick right from the word go because these are really nice good thick paints so I'm popping a little bit of yellow at the top of my card I'm going to go for my dribbles you see so a little bit of yellow there I'm going to do, I thought I'd do some really, I want to try and do more than one finished sample because I know what I'm like, so I'm going to attempt to do quick ones, but we'll see how that goes. Take some red and again, try and water it down slightly. Look at that, it looks like tomato sauce. <laughs> there we go, it isn't. Ovs, don't stick this on your chips. So I'll pop a little bit of that on there. I mean, you shouldn't talk about chips, really, should you, when you're hungry? Because chips are one of them, when you're hungry, any time of day, it's fine, isn't it? Chips, fine. Oh, we've got a right good chippy in um, the handle. It's proper, proper good. Right. Mm, I don't have mustard on my chips. Do you have mustard? 
Oh, <laughs> ketchup and mustard, yeah. And now I should be a bit quick as well because they do actually dry quite quickly. That's okay though because I've mixed it with a bit of water. It means that they'll stay open a little bit longer because obviously I'm watering them down quite a bit. Now I know I'll get a bit of mixing with the colours as I make them drip, but let's go for it. Now, when I do this technique, I know on the um, on your pink frog. Uh, uh, sure, you've got the A3 um, car stock. That's where I put this now. I put it under here because I'm going to give this a blast. And as it blasts, obviously, you'll get it dripping. If it doesn't drip, if it's if it's awkward, just agitate it at the top. But there. Oh, I love it. This will never, ever, ever get dull. You've got that lovely colour coming down like so which looks absolutely fabulous. So at the top, as I said, if it isn't going fast enough or you're not getting enough movement, you can literally just agitate the, um, the paints to get a bit more movement, like so. And then take your spritzer and get it to move. So you get that lovely paint moving down that pad, uh, moving down the paper, so you get that lovely colour. And I always like to sort of spritz it in the middle of the drips as well, to just get those colours to um, to explode. Now, move that one out of the way, twist this one round, and let's get a little bit of extra movement on there. Blast that dry, just a bit. I don't want to blast it too dry, because I do like to see where the colours merge, I love to see that. And I do like at the top there where it's nice and thick. That looks absolutely gorgeous. So I've got that up the top. But I do need this to dry because I do want to stamp over this. And I'm going to stamp directly over this. I'd probably get a bit bored, so in a minute I'll probably mop the excess up. Because I'm terrible at um, being patient. And I won't use all the card anyway. I mean... I'll probably put my stamped image about here because it's I like this top bit and I like this merge bit here. Okay, so just using that just to get the excess up and I really like that top bit. Now that's crafted obviously do tons and tons and tons of stencils. Um, check out the website, shop by brand because you'll get loads of lovely stencils that they do. I mean the prolific in the stencils, there's so many to choose from and I just thought I'd have a little play with just one of their stencils, just having a little look which one to use. See I love that one the little blocks I think that looks quite fabulous so let's have just a little block and that's going to go down here and I'm going to use the yellow for this one and again using those paints those paints you'll use a lot I mean we like paints don't we so a little bit of painty action like so I'm not going to go too far because just want a little bit of shape to this, like this. There we go. So let's have a look. Kind of happy with that, actually. I just wanted a little bit. Of, I wanted to break up that part. And what I love about this, as soon as you actually do um, cut it down, it always changes it. Right, let's take our stamp. <laughs> He's well ace. So, take him. Let's blast this one dry first. Before I put that on. Like that. And let's stick him down. Oh, see. The images are fab. So, I've cut this out. Now, when you cut your rubber stamps out, just use a nice sharp pair of scissors. They're easy to cut out. Now, I haven't been too precious. You can see I haven't gone too close or cut in here. Obviously, make sure you don't over-ink the stamp, but that's absolutely fine. And I want him to be looking kind of on that direction. So he's going to be looking out. Now I'm stamping onto the watercolour cardstock, so it's got a little bit of texture going on there, but I should be able to get a nice crisp image. Look at him. Isn't he just fabulous? Absolutely fabulous. These are the most quirky stamps I've ever seen. Um, <laughs> in Tesco trying to find his wife, is that what he said? I tried not to find his wife. Or he's found his wife and seen what she'd got in the basket. He's like, oh my good grief. 
We've literally, are we buying for Christmas or are we buying for a year? What's going on? We're not even allowed the family round. What have you done? <laughs> uh, it is, yeah, that is me. I mean, I've, I mean, I've eaten that many mince pies. It's ridiculous. As soon as I could get all the mince pies, it was like, yeah, I'll have 20 of them. I've had a lovely time. I mean, it's, it's a good job they're not there all year round. And I'm just adding a little bit of colour. And I'm not going too mad with the colours, but with these elements, with these fabulous little characters, you can go mad with the colours. Because let's face it, they're really quirky animals. So it means, or, or critters, so it means you can just do whatever colour you want. I do actually like them in black and white. I think they really suit black and white. So I'm just going to blend a little bit of that pink out. I don't know what animal. I don't think it is. I think it's just a really good quirky imagination. And that's what I used to, my thing in my bobs were just, they weren't animals, they were just things. And that's why they remind me of them, because they're just little quirky little creatures, aren't they? Or it is, you know, or maybe when she sees people, this is how she sees people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if, yeah. If you are ever an inspiration for these stamps, it'd be like, oh, <laughs> oh, heck. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to pop where the eye is, just a little bit of blue around the eye, just for a bit of extra emphasis on that. And I'm not going to add any more colour, because I quite like it plain. I quite like it with that, that black and white, just a bit up around the belly. And just blending that out, because we're working on watercolour, just blend that out like so. There. Oh, I love it. Right, OK. So we've got our little creature. Let's put a bit of ground on there, because obviously we don't want a, our floaty creature. I mean, it could be a floaty creature, but it's not going to be. So just a little bit of uh, my pen, using our Phil Martin's pens as ever. And that'll just ground it, like so. I will go around with grey, because that'll give me a shadow. There. And again, you don't need to be perfect. It's literally just giving it a bit of, a bit of ground. You don't even need to ground them, to be fair, because this, it could be doing anything. And then let's go around with a, t a tiny bit of grey, just to give me a bit of shadow. Like that. So that's my grey. And just take my water brush and blend that just gently. And that will give me some depth to that. It's funny, I love it because when you um when you learn, you know, when you start stamping, I never used to put grey on anything, nothing had shadow. But it makes such a difference. All the techniques that you learn over the years. There we go. So that's a little bit of shadow for him. And then let's put a sentiment. And as when I cut this down, it will just transform. Now, we have got sentiments. These are coming up in the second hour. Where have I put my sentiments? They will be coming up in the second hour. And there's some really nice sentiments on this one. Bear with, because I have to have a rummage. Um, there's some cracking sentiments on here. So you've got every moment matters. Mistakes are proof that you're trying. Oh, and the adventure begins. The best is yet to come. And then, of course, the world is filled with nice people. If you can't find one, be one. And there is always something to be thankful for. See, and I think, I think there's some really good sentiments, especially for this time of year. Right, let's have that one because let's have the adventure beginning so again i've just cut that out and put in a little bit of glue on the back of there it does mean i'm going to get a gluey mat um a gluey um doodah block but that's okay i'm lining up that line with this because i haven't it's not i've not cut it in a straight line so it can be tricky to line up so line up the physical stamp with your block so then when you're actually stamping, you know exactly where you're going. Because obviously red rubber, you know, you can't see where you're going. But at least now I can use my block to decide um, where I need it to stamp. Obviously, I'm hoping I'm stamping it the right way around and I haven't stamped it upside down. Because that happens. But, uh, yes, see, the adventure begins. Do you know what he needs as well? You know that um, there's a bee on one of them, isn't there? He needs a little bee, doesn't he? 
Yeah, there's a B on one of them. I'll put that on later. I won't faff about with B now, but I think a little B on there will look fabulous. And then, when, let me just, ah, oh, is it which room? There, so just cut this down. And I might have it so that comes off just here like that. There, and see. Pop it on black card as ever. That would look amazing in one of your um, your books, you know, and your your um, your art journals. Isn't it cool? Black around the edge as ever. He's looking at the adventures. Of, oh, I weren't ready for that. Can I just not watch a bit of Teller? And I mean, oh, he's looking, he's a little bit like, oh, no, I'm not ready for that adventure. I'm, I'm, I'm all right with lockdown. I'm all right sitting and watching telly. I've had a lovely time. I mean, I mean, I've learnt loads of cocktails. Um, but, yeah, how fabulous is that going to be when that is on black card? The adventure begins, and it should have a note inside, don't be scared, it's going to be okay. Isn't it fabulous? Um, please check these out. They're amazing. They're easy to work with because they're so cool and they're so different. But you do need to um, get them, experiment with them, and have fun with them. Uh, check the website, nechanda.com. That's where you're going to see absolutely everything that we've got. Um, there's so many different stamps and, of course, there's all the paints as well. Uh, so please check those out. Um, if there's any questions, email in. If you've got these before, I'd love to see photographs. Oh, we've got images. Yeah, let's see them now. So who are they from? Claire. Oh, Claire, that's well cool. What she put, uh, masquerading as a normal person day after. Um, hold on. Um, day after day must be exhausting, absolutely. Done That's it for that stamp. That is absolutely brilliant. <laughs> love We've it. got another. Oh, look at this one. Oh, that's fabulous. Oh, mate, that is fabulous, Claire. And that is one of that. I love that stamp. That bloke is f so cool. Claire, thank you. Oh, man, that's good as well. <laughs> that is so good, isn't it? Yeah, Claire, they're well cool. Thank you so much for sharing. You love these as well, don't oh, you, Catherine? I do. I absolutely adore them. As you say, you, they make you smile. They are a little bit weird, a little bit dark, but at the same time, they're quite uplifting as well, I think. You can create so many stories in your head with these as well, just looking at the images. Well, let's have a look at what we've got on offer again for you, of course. Now, £13.99 pence each. That is as far as value goes I think is absolutely incredible when you see the size of the stamps obviously you can cut these out but they are red rubber you've got that depth you can see with Leonie's demonstrations there the samples that we've got how beautifully these actually stamp as well absolutely gorgeous now I'm going to apologize now because I'm rubbish with French as well so I'm just going to repeat exactly what I hear in my ear so that means if it's wrong it's not my fault <laughs> The first one we're looking at, this one here, Dodus. Oh, isn't that fantastic? You've got nice chunky characters in that one yeah. as well. Yeah, there really is. rounded characters, haven't you? Love them. Next one, Les Cargos. Now, I don't know. Is, is that snail in French? Les oh, I've no idea. Know. There's well, that the little snail bee, though. is amazing. Have you seen the, the snail? The bee's there. That's what, what it is. The bee. The bee. The there bee. There it is. Look. And I love, the snail just looks, um, honestly, that one looks like It looks like menacing, it's, I think. Yeah, oh, he's out like, for I'm revenge, the lettuce, is that? I'm going to eat the rabbit next. That's what's <laughs> coming up next. He knows you've been putting <laughs> salt down, he's having you. <laughs> and then, Le Branches. Now, there is a bee there, and he's a, he's a good size bee as well, isn't he? He looks quite menacing as well. These are fabulous. Look at the mask hanging from the tree as well. Thirteen ninety nine is the price, Four zero five nine four one. Now, the busiest one is Dodus. I wonder why that is, actually. I, I think that's because it's just fa quite fabulous. And a little bit cute as well. Yeah, it is and a, a little bit, cute. bit I mean, quirky, but really quiet. There's sort of cuteness about it, I think. Maybe it's because you've got a larger area to colour as well. Yeah, I don't know if that's maybe. got to do with it. I just picked this one up because one of my favourite things is on here is on not only the characters from one of these sets, but you've got the shrink plastic as well. Oh, Look, yeah, isn't that's that fabulous? Cool. Love it, absolutely love it. We've oh, got all word, sorts make some of amazing, amazing shrink plastic uh, yeah. jewellery. Oh, yes, definitely. Something a little bit different, isn't it? Four zero five nine four one is the item number. Let me just show you this one as well because oh, it's from our uh, leading set so far on this bundle. 
Now moving down. <laughs> you know when Leone said <laughs> that one of these characters, I'm sure that it would remind you of someone that you know. I definitely know one of these characters. Yes, the one, the one that is on here. That I'm not going to say who it is. <laughs> I am not going to say who it is. I know there's somebody here that it was referred to as well, but it's not the one I'm thinking of. Uh, I just think that's it's so amusing. Great characters in this one. 13.99. Claire's card there <laughs> using, of course, this character here was absolutely stunning, wasn't it? 275082. So let's have a look. Again, that's humanoids there. We've got another option for you as well, of course. Le Piats. That's what I'm being told. Piat. Yeah. Is that right? Piat. I don't know. We'll bring it up on the screen. We'll bring... There it is. Piafs. <laughs> <laughs> It's even worse with the Yorkshire accent. Thirteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Big two seven five zero eight two. Oh, I can't stop smiling at these. These samples are just fantastic. They really are. Moving down again. Of course, we've got more in the wave stamps for you as well. <laughs> just, I love this sample here. Just oh, I adore this. Oh, we've got a couple of different ones for you here. As a look at that, it's the one that Leona showed you. But I just think that it's genius. I do. Oh, go for those sentiments as well. You will see them later on this afternoon, but they are on the website. So the different options on this one then. I think we, <laughs> I think we might need <laughs> details on the screen. I'll read it instead. Les Sauvages and Les Marines. Somebody please tell us what these transfer into. I'll translate into 599244 is the item <laughs> number. Great characters once again, £13.99. and pence. I don't know what's funny, it's the characters are us trying to pronounce the names. <laughs> <laughs> and then of course it is a big saver so, so we've got those mediums for you as well. Really, really good buy this one. You've got your gritty bits, not one, you've got two, you're getting both of those. Great for your uh, mixed media projects, of course, your backgrounds, mix it, as I only said, with your paints and your mediums, and just have fun with those. Twelve ninety-eight is the price for both of them. Three pounds savings, zero five four nine eight one. And then the holographic paste. And yes, um, I'll second this. This is amazing stuff. We do see Joe using it a lot. I've been given this before in my shows. Leonie's used it and she loves it. Everybody loves this. 11 99 is the price. 250 milliliters in that. 267036. And then of course the paints. Now we have, I'll just repeat, or if you missed the start of the show, you're actually getting 12. We haven't got 12 of them here. That's just so you can see the size of the pots and, you know, a selection of the colours. We will show you a picture of what you're going to get. A saving of £5.38. £30.50 and and is all you need to pay today. The colours are going to be just sent across the bottom of the screen for you to look at there. But you can see visually there's some great colours, including, of course, your primaries. 890469 is the item number. Now we're going to go straight back to Leone for more demonstrations. I'm just going to sit and watch again. Oh, thank oh, you. So much fun. Thank you very much, oh, Catherine. Um, okay, so let's get another piece of my watercolour cardstock. This is why I get through watercolour cardstock at a rate of knots. Because, because I always work on bigger pieces. It's funny, actually, because we were saying yesterday, like when you work on, so my, so if I get an A6, See, if I worked on A6, because I work on big pieces, it does mean I end up cutting a lot out, whereas if I just work on A6, it does mean I am instantly not wasting as much cardstock. So actually, I'll work on A6 and I'll restrain myself. And immediately I, I change my mind as soon as I've said that in my head. But do do it, Leona. So um, I'm going to go, let's let's mix up my colours. So I'm going to have um, my my background and I am going to go a little bit sort of smoke and intense and because I just think they really suit that kind of um, you know that kind of image that kind of darkness I think it looks quite cool now I want to layer this on quite thick because I do want to get a little bit of movement in this when I come to add um, water and stuff to it I'll bring in some broken china so I'll just get my sponge from my broken china so bring in a bit of color as well like so and that'll just create this background you want I think with these you can create so many different looks but you can really get carried away with cool backgrounds so bringing that in like this and then we might put a little bit of yellow in the center there just to give us some light 
there needs to be a bit of light. And this, I mean, I don't know. I think I'm going, this one might look really spooky. But that's cool because I like it. Okay. So popping that in there. And it's distressed, so of course you'll get that really good blend. Like so. Okay. Cool. There. So we got a, a really good blend there. Now I'm just going to take my water brush. And I just want to drag my water brush along. And this will start to break up my ink. You'll see it in a second, as long as it doesn't, oops, kind of bit thingy there. There we go. So just breaking up the ink and hopefully it'll look a little bit crackled. I need to lift it in a second. There we go. You can see some of the crackles coming through. I am squeezing the water brush now and again, so some of it will be thicker. I need it to be. The water brush I'm using is Derwent's. Check the website out for this because the Derwent water brushes are really good water brushes. Absolute favourite. There we are. So just get this, pop that on. Let's lift off that colour. So you've got that kind of like background and I wanted it so it, it almost looked like branches, you know, a little bit of, it looks spooky. That's what I wanted. I want it to look a little bit spooky, I'm not going to lie. And then let's take the stamp. Now I'm going for, where have I put the stamps? There. So I'm going for that set. I love them. I'm, I love that set. I just think that is seriously cool. And that is um, Le Branches. Is that, do you remember, has anyone seen, oh, I'm going to forget the film. Oh, yeah, forgot it. It's by, oh, it's by the Spanish director. Nope, it's gone. It might come back to me. It might. And it's it's the one where he's got his eyeballs in his hands. And he just walks around like that. Yes. What's the film called? It's Thingy. And for some reason, you know when she puts the, the, the root under the bed? That's what that is in my head. It's the root under the bed. Anyway, um, oh, it's one of my favourite films of all time, is that? But I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> but anyway, that's what that is in my head. So, now, this one is another one of them. I have to look at it. What, what, what? Yeah, Google, yeah. Get on that, get on that there search engine. La Pan's Labyrinth, that's the one. So root is that, the root under the bed. There, so we've got the fabulous tree, I love this. Now, what you could do, and I've gone and forgot my flowers, but you could put really pretty little flowers on it. So you've got that kind of spookiness, but then pretty little flowers. You could make this into the weirdest Christmas tree in the world. Like you could have all these little faces, but then put, you know, like put tinsel coming out the top of them. I mean, there's so many ways you can decorate this. There's so many different ways you can actually play with this. So please don't think that play with this you have got a massive license to really experiment with this now what i want to do is just lift a bit of the color so i'm hoping my ink has dried but i'll be able to lift some of that color underneath out might be merging my color a little bit too much there but let's have a see let's lifting it a little bit and just lift a bit of the color there as well there that's lifted and I'm only doing that on the branch. I'm not going to do it on the faces because I've already got those cut out. Okay. And these faces, now, these faces are quite fabulous. Like if you've got a photograph, oh my dark mind, you could put those on the photograph, couldn't you? I mean, I'm annoyed it would look really spooky, but I'd love that. You know, I mean, as a joke, you know, if you've broken up with someone. <laughs> <laughs> and you're going through your photograph album instead of cutting them out, you just put them on their faces instead. And then every time you look through a photograph, it'll just make you chuckle rather than be sad. It'll just be like, ha, <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what he looked like. But anyway, there you go. That's C, delving into Leone's weird imagination again. So let's take, so I'm going to mix this up, okay. So, <laughs> yeah, are you good? You could put, you could put, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, you could put the, that guy on, on your photos, that guy on all your photos. 
<laughs> be a vast improvement from the last one, I tell you. So, taking a little bit of the holographic, okay, and then I'm going to take a little bit of my crunchy stuff, my grit, like this, my gritty bits. I'm mixing this in because obviously this is a medium, so it will hold that in place like so and then all i'm gonna do now i'm hoping i can do this so it looks okay i wanted to put on i don't want it to be too gritty but i wanted to put on so they look like they have fabulous hair gritty sparkly hair coming out the masks which is a little bit odd isn't it but i really wanted that so he's got this fabulous gritty hair i mean you could you could do all sorts you could <laughs> look at that hair you could put um you could put on with these you could put all sorts on. i mean you could have fabulous curly hair you could do all sorts with it there we go and then i mean you could with this as well use that the grit is love it's brilliant because it's a really nice texture to that so you could obviously put that on the bottom as well so just add a little bit of texture to the bottom of the tree um, you can as well with the grit, you can uh, colour it if you've got your alcohol inks, colour it with your alcohol inks, you can spritz over the top of it. And I kind of like this because I like the sparkle going on as well. I kind of, I think that sparkle is quite nice on it because again it is that, that juxtaposition between the dark and then a little bit of sparkle coming in. I kind of, I kind of like that. Right, put that away for a second and then... I have got my little faces, so I've got the faces that I've cut out, and I've got 3D form. My 3D form that I've got has lost its sticky, but it's okay. I know, right, where's my ink? No, I should just treat myself to new 3D form. Okay, so just a tiny bit. It sticks on one side, but for some reason not on the other. And just cut that one down, like so. I'm popping this on there like that and then just get my glue extra strength glue sticking that on Work. so my little face is going back here like this hello little face and then this one is going here they are very spooky aren't they like so and then my last one is going here like this see i do definitely think if i were doing this one and i'd remember my flowers i'd put all i'd love it with all pretty flowers i just think that'd look quite hilarious in the background there so got my lovely little um my lovely little faces which look marvelous add a tiny bit of color and again i'm not going to go mad with my color but let's add a little bit of green to this a little bit of green to this like so so we've got a tiny bit of green oh love it just with a bit of color as well it looks quite fabulous bringing this down you would wait until all your your mediums have dried but i'm rushing a little bit bringing a bit of brown in as well for the tree and also for like this and I, I'm not being I like this because again you don't have to be perfect you can move the colour I'd move the colour around with my water brush just to get a little bit of so it's it's not solid so it starts merging so that's like that and then just move that colour around I remember your water I like I have it is good that I've used the A6. I've not wasted any card. And the glitter there, that looks fabulous. So I've got that, really, really like that. Let's bring one of those sentiment stamps in again. Now, what I thought I'd do with this one, um, I'm going to put the best is yet to come because I think that's, that's a really good uplifting sentiment for this card. So when you're cutting your stamps out, you just take uh, your pair of scissors, cut round it you see i'm not even being too careful um uh, you know i'm not getting too close i'm being very careful that i don't cut into the stamp also when you're cutting don't cut with at that angle you know so don't have it i'll show you on that bit don't cut like that because you don't want your rubber i don't know if you can see that but you don't want it at an angle if you get it at an angle 
then it means there'll be nothing under the actual image. So that's the one thing to be that's that, that's the one thing to be careful of. Don't actually cut the stamp and don't cut at an angle. So try and cut either straight up or the uh, absolute the other way, the angle the other way. But try and cut straight up, um, and that's all you need to sort of be, be mindful of when you're stamping. I'll pop a little bit of glue. You can get obviously the um, and I need to get some actually the the sheets that you put underneath. You can put onto your acrylic block to make your acrylic block sticky, which are dead handy. Um, and then ink pad. So I'll just get my my little ink pad. The best is yet to come. <laughs> I mean, that'd be such a fabulously uplifting card to send someone, wouldn't it? <laughs> They'd be like, oh, God. <laughs> Just makes me giggle. <laughs> and then, look, I've got the B. Look at him. Isn't he fabulous? So the B is absolutely... This is from the same set as well. He's absolutely getting coloured in because that is such an amazing... Actually, I don't think he's a B. I think he's a fly. He's just a big, fat, zippy fly is that one. Which, I'm not being funny, I'm not quite sure if you'd want in your life, but you've got him on my card. So... You'd put glossy accents on his eyes. Definitely his eyes need glossy accents. No doubt about it. You can get that in your um, Pink Frog show. So definitely put your glossy accents on. He needs them because you want nice, big, sort of bulgy, you know, flyy eyes. <laughs> like that. And then use a bit of grey. I love this. And again, I just think, <laughs> as uplifting cards go, this is fabulous. Right, don't worry, the best is yet to come. Let's face it, it can't get worse. <laughs> and then, popping his eyes. So I'm really making, I'm building up those colours around his eye because I really want that eye to sort of pop. <laughs> there, like that. Not literally. There we are. Loving my fabulous big fat fly. And then your wings. So, of course, this are... See, I thought I'd do loads of cards this time because I thought, oh, I won't faff, but I observe I haven't. So I'm going to stick... Before I put that on, let's stick him on the card. So 